Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Halo Halo Mixed Bags. This is Raynan. It's Sunday here in Saskatchewan. Um, 7 at night, uh, Sunday, March uh, 28th, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, um, it is the spring equinox where the daytime and the nighttime are now almost equal. That's my wife who was walking through. Uh, I step on uh, one of the uh, uh, the floor where it's it's not even, and so yeah, uh, it's spring it's spring equinox where the time, uh, the daylight and the the night time, is almost equal. Almost uh, it's like uh, only three uh, three minutes apart. So yeah, I just had my uh, uh, my haircut. My it's professionally done by my wife. No, not professionally, but. Uh, she's getting uh, she's getting better at it uh, and so yeah it's not the video is all about uh, you know uh, I'm not sure if uh, everyone is aware of what's going on like uh, what's happening in uh, in uh, Eastern Europe in between Russia and Ukraine so you probably have heard about it um, that uh, Russia is invading uh, Ukraine and but not many people know that these uh, two countries are major exporters of wheat and other agricultural products like corn sunflower seeds and other stuff you know they also uh, russia also exports uh, you know key ingredients for fertilizer that's the reason why fertilizer price is going up and so if the price of uh, fertilizer goes up um, you know the thing is thing is Russia is not able to export most of the its, uh, its agricultural products and even oil natural gas uh, and so that is uh, that is contributing factor to why we see a spike in uh, oil and gas prices and so Oria one of the uh, ingredients to uh, to in uh, to make a uh, fertilizer and also potash which also makes uh, makes up uh, the part of uh, the fertilizer um, it's going up in price because uh, Russia is uh, under sanction for all of these that's the reason why the price of uh, fertilizer is going up so if the price of fertilizer goes up the uh, the cost for the farmers to uh, to plant their crops will go up uh, significantly and factor in these uh, weather disturbances we have uh, last year we had a drought here so we didn't have we didn't have enough uh, rain that's why most of the uh, canola canola plants that the we see around here in uh, in this part of uh, Saskatchewan had dried out, had uh, uh, had died, so they didn't grow that that much. So they, so as I, I was to, uh, as I talked to uh, one of the uh, the farmers last year, uh, that was in uh, early uh, early September, she said that uh, their their canola are their canola harvest is a third of what they used to be so they normally in a in an acre they harvest uh, 130 120 to 135 bushels so now it's down to 100 uh, no 135 to 120 to 135 bushels per acre it's down to 35 so yeah that's the reason why canola oil went up here it spiked up last year it uh, went uh, almost a hundred percent increase now it's uh, 8 8.99 at the local uh, grocery store here so oil gas went up uh, after the invasion so it it was at uh, at the pump we were paying a buck buck 45 and now it's a uh, dollar 60 dollar uh, 69 and it has it has uh, stabilized at that range for now 
But even before, even before the invasion, the price of oil and gas is already uh, going up. So it it is uh, this invasion is just uh, uh, immaterial. It immaterial in the sense that even if it uh, didn't play out like this, the price of oil and gas is already uh, in its way up. So yeah i uh, just have to think about it you know whatever you do now or don't do will have an first impact or it will uh determine what uh what's gonna happen to you or to me uh, you know um along the road uh you know down the road uh, as we go along uh these uh these uh challenging times so if we uh if this summer plays out just like last year where there is drought and in other parts of uh, the world where they see uh, um, an excess uh, uh, precipitation where there is flooding so you can expect that there won't be enough uh, food for everyone to feed uh, the, uh, the people around the world and it will uh, adversely affect most uh, most uh, especially the ones in the in places where there is already hunger even before this whole thing uh, uh, you know especially in afghanistan you know those countries in sri lanka uh, so yeah so if if you have whatever you can do now you know do it now while while uh, there's still there's still, uh, I don't know, but there's still stuff that you can buy from the grocery store. Because when these uh, this food shortages kicks in, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a uh, million dollars or two million dollars. What is important when when this thing uh, unfolds is what what you can buy with those stuff. You know, even if you have two million dollars, when you can't buy anything in the grocery store, so yeah uh, so i'm not gonna take the whole time uh, explaining to you everything and i hope you get the idea and i'll see you again next time have a good night and uh, have a happy work week and uh, be safe protect yourself at all times bye bye <laughs>